Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, here's another great knife that uh, Toby sent to me today, Toby and family. And this is a collector series that they have. I've been looking at these knives for a couple of years now, really. I've been thinking about, you know, getting one and wanting to get one and almost got it many a time and put it in my box. But it comes in four different ones. Eagle, deer, bass, and turkey. This guy's a moose. Now, one interesting thing before we get into this, all this, is that uh, moose mess up more people each year than bears out in the woods. <laughs> and the another kind of like off the wall thing, you know, like you think, all right, okay, to go from that, what animal? And I'm lump animals into like you know reptiles and spiders and all that other crap you know not like subspecies but what animal kills the most humans every year I'll give you a guess mosquitoes mosquitoes Mosqu humans are this by far the second but mosquitoes kill over a million people a year humans are only like you know homicides are only like 476,000 or so so there you go. thought that would be some little interesting educational crap. You never know what you're going to get around here. It doesn't say anything else on the box except for on the very bottom right here. It tells you where to get some more marble stuff. And then it tells you how to get cancer just by going to this website. And then it warns you again, you know, that the um, state of California thinks that you've bought a box of cancer. And it's going to do all kinds of bad things to you and if you don't believe it you can go over here and they'll tell you all about how you messed up but here's your uh, model number mr366 now it's not a magnetic box when i first got it, i was like <laughs> how do i get how do i do it it's like an old-fashioned cigar box but it doesn't have that little nail i remember my dad used to smoke cigars and there was a little nail that he'd smoke Dutch Masters and um, King Edwards and stuff like that. <clears throat> but it, it's a display, it's a clasp knife. These are cool. When you find a Rough Rider, Rough Rider used to make some of them, and they called them Deer Slayers. And uh, when you find them on the secondary market, man, they bid the hell out of them. They go crazy with it. But you got a couple of deer track here. See, that's one of the first things you learn when you're hunting deer. Anyways, it's how to track them and stuff. See if they've been around. S tell the difference between a deer and a cow hoof. Because a lot of times they're running in the same area. I found a bunch of deer over here. They're moving real slow. No, those are future McDonald's sandwiches. <laughs> Close, but no cookie. But yeah, it comes in this nice display box. And then it tells you right here you can pause this but it tells you about the beginning of marbles from the 1890s and all this other stuff you can you can read that it doesn't describe anything about a class like, but this is a sturdy this is a pretty sturdy um cigar box it's pretty cool it's one of the biggest you know boxes you're gonna get for <laughs> like a you know you get a knife that's got a box but this will gives a good little presentation there on it all right, let's put that over there and get to the knife. All right, so it's not it's a non-locking type of knife. Pow! Don't do that. Well, I just did. It's not completely centered, but that's, you know, no big issue with this one. It has, um, I mean, you can look at it super close, but I think these go for like $25 at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I don't believe they have all of them in the series, but uh, Chicago Knife Works has them too, and they're usually a little bit less, like about twenty or nineteen dollars at Chicago Knife Works. It has this nice, you know, it's like been cast in or something, embellishments on it. I believe this is a wood grain of some type. I haven't looked up the specifications of it or anything, but it feels like a nice wood grain. Everything's nice and smooth. You got your little deer tracks on the back side also. And then you've got a nail neck here. Non-match strike nail neck. 
the pull on this, it it's not it doesn't have a half stop, but it, it the pull changes like it starts off a little easy, and then it gets harder, and then it eases into this uh, like natural spot where it's rounded. I think what Tobias calls like a lazy half stop. And then you come back out. Nice good snap to it. Um, like I said, really, really good fit and finish on it. But I like this big fat buoy clip type of blade. You know, you can get your hand on. Let me zoom back here. Quit, quit being zoomed in. But you can get your hand on it. Got a big old blade there. You can choke up right here. Finger fits in there perfectly. The back pressure is pretty good. The opening, like I said, the pull on it would probably be like about a five or a six, but it varies as you're pulling it. You know, it changes just like this. It's, it's fairly hard to break, and then it gets easier, and then it starts getting a little bit more resistance, and then here's your... Eh, falls right back in. Pretty cool knife. All right, let's see how long of a blade we got. And the etching is... It looks like if you gave a, a robot, you know, a lesson in artwork. Looks like robot did this. I don't know. Maybe somebody into mecha stuff, but not bad. And it's a it's a relief etching on here. I don't know what this other color is on there. If it's brass or whatever, but the deer, the deer stand out a little bit. The reason why I say this is, you see how this mountain... Let's, let's see if we can zoom in. Let's get critical on the etching. This mountain's got a little bit of gold in him, too. So if it was just the deer, they might have just splashed some on it. But it's got a mountain scene, you know, you got... This one does look like a deer. It's, and he got ice on his tail or something. Icicles coming out of him. And then there's another one, like a, a doe or... Or maybe a fawn. It's like, hey, what's up? And he's saying, I think there's a hunter over there. And he's aiming at one of us. You want to borrow my antlers? And the doe will, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to borrow your antlers. I mean, here, here, you can use them for a little bit. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's not bump off the deer. Oh, yeah, we wanted to get a measurement on that blade there. That's why I was opening it. I got caught up in the deer scene. But yeah, from there to there, it's about a three and a half inch cutting edge. Maybe a little bit more, about a, a little over a four inch blade. Just tiny amount over. And at its thickest part, it's about a inch and an eighth or let's get this over here for where they can see in centimoids yeah about three centimoids wide at its widest part <clears throat> but yeah pretty cool it 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 does have a slight curve to it down there let's, let's go find something flattened surface yeah but as far as the blade i think it's yeah it's just a straight it's not a, a recurve it's got that point that down point you know where you're gonna hit that way first with it feels good in the hand it's all smooth it's a very nice very nice knife yeah these are cool you could use it. it. It feels like you could use it, and this stuff won't wear off that much because it's a different kind of relief. You know, it's like a relief etch, you know, where this side is really etched in and then frosted, and then this is like the original surface up here, and they just etch that down. I don't know how they do this. I'm just guessing. Oh, yeah, car horns. It's always great. A oh, finger magnet. Yeah, I wish they would. I wish they would make more of these Rough Riders and all these other ones. Not necessarily one with a display, although that wouldn't stop me. I mean, that's not going to stop me from from using it. All right, let's let's test it out on the sharpness out of the box. This is a marble. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. 
pretty sharp. Alright, we'll give an improvised hobo test. This was from the uh, Stiletto Big Boy. Alright, we're going to set this up here. We're going to give it two layers of hobo armor, or deer, or moose, or antelope, or rabid beaver. Uh, won't go in very far. I didn't think, I didn't think so. Because of the, the big bluntness of it. Now, you know, this has been folded and everything, but still, if you're going to do the pokey thing, that's where that stiletto is going to come in handy. That's why a high heel, they say like a woman's high heel, the, the weight put on the end of that woman's high heel is more than the weight of an elephant's, you know, foot. <laughs> Which would, <laughs> women don't like it when you tell them that. But it's true because of the surface area. <clears throat> You're condensing it down to a fine surface area. So, yeah. It's not a bad knife. I'll have to get the weight for you because I haven't weighed it yet. About six inches overall. Closed and open. Wow, it really reaches out there. Almost ten inches. Or twenty-four and a half centimoids. Let me scoot this up. Make sure we're centered here. Closer to like, yeah, about twenty-four and a half. And then nine and five eighths. Op open all overall. Can almost get two hands on it. <clears throat> yeah, pretty cool knife. So thank you, Toby and family. I hope y'all enjoyed these. If if you like these things, uh, get them now because if they if they go out like if Marble stops making these, I don't know of any other a commercial one that's making them for around this price that could be like a user slash you know collector type of thing not that these are going to be you know like super collectible but hey if you get more than one of them then you've got a collection not necessarily an extensive collection or anything i'm sure cases come out with things like these before but they're probably super expensive and they're not in their current lineup right now um but yeah these are just cool knives the clasp knife and they get that name i think because it was originally made from like part of a horn you would have the horn as part of the handle there you go thank you for watching and have a nice day